Welcome to Radford University's series on how to use Google Earth. In this tutorial, you will learn a little bit about how to create a basic KMZ file. A KMZ file is basically the language that Google Earth uses when you want to save content you're working with from Google Earth to your desktop. So to get started, the first thing before we get into Google Earth, what I'd like to do is go to the internet and show you a site that I found. So open up your internet page. And as you can see here from the search engine, I typed in Google Earth KMZ. So I'm going to search in for that. And this very first link, this KMZ link, I want to open that up. So single click that. Now I found an image under landscapes. So I'm going to select landscapes and it's on page four. And it's here of Mount St. Helens. Now the KMZ file, what it does is it saves the image that you're looking at on Google Earth, the place you're working with, and the actual place mark that you put on that image. It saves it, bundles it together, and puts it on your desktop. So I'm going to select this, this download, and it's going to take me right into Google Earth. So I'll single, cl single click Mount St. Helens. I want to open it up with Google Earth, so select OK. And I'm just going to, there we go. That takes me right into Google Earth. Google Earth flies me right to Mount St. Helens. Now, if you want to add your own place mark, which I think we've looked at a little bit, but we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and do that again. I want to. I'm doing a series on volcanoes with my classroom, so I want to go to another volcano. I want to go to Mount Rainier. So that's going to fly me right to Mount Rainier. We're going to come in from the from 90 degree view here, from the top down. What I'd like to do is change my view up here a little bit. So let's zoom in. Let's make sure first that we have selected the terrain feature, which we have. That will give us a little bit more three-dimensional look. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to add our place mark. So from the top toolbar, single click Add Place Mark. And it gives you automatically your little yellow push pin. I'm gonna, you can actually single click and hold and drag this place mark around. I'm gonna put it right here on top of Mount Rainier. As you could tell as I was doing that, the latitude and longitude change. I'm gonna give it a name, which will just be Mount Rainier. Give it a description if you want, which will be a volcano in Washington. And we'll leave the style and the color alone. If you want to change the actual place mark, you can select that place mark and it gives you many different options. I'm going to cancel and get out of that. But what I want to do is come over to here to view and I want to take a current snapshot that's on Google Earth. So I'm going to select snapshot current view and select OK. And that has now created my place mark here. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a folder to house these two places I'm working with. So if you come bring your cursor over here into the places section and right click or if you're on a Mac control click and I want to add a folder. So I want to add this folder and I want to call it volcanoes. Okay, I can give it a description to say a project here for class and hit OK. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to save this. So let's again right click or control click volcanoes. I'm going to save place as and you can see here it gives you the .kmz and that is a KMZ file. I want to save it as a document. Actually I want to save it to my desktop. Desktop formats KMZ and I'm just going to select save and I've now created a KMZ file. Now the other thing I'd like to do is I would like to bring Rainier and St. Helens down into my Volcanoes folder. So I'm just going to click and hold Rainier, bring it till it's on top of Volcanoes and release it and now it's in that folder. I'm going to do the same thing with Mount St. Helens, bring it onto Volcanoes and now those both those things 
are housed in my Volcanoes folder on my desktop. So the next time I would like to go and see Mount St. Helens, all I have to do is double click on Mount St. Helens and it takes me right to the image I was looking at before. It's saved on my desktop and it's right there for me to use. And that is the basics of how to create a KMZ file. In this video, you've seen how to create a basic KMZ file.